Well, there we have it. All four locomotives are now ready to have their signage put on them. So here are the transfers for the four locomotives. Okay, I'm going to fit some transfers to the tender side. Now, this tender is not gloss, so it's not the ideal surface for putting transfers on. I'm cutting out each one of the transfers and popping them into some water, which has a small amount of washing up liquid. And you see here, I've got an old envelope. Now, this is an old trick. You've got the gum there, you stick that in there. Now, when you use transfers on a mat or a semi-mat finish, you end up with very small little air bubbles getting trapped underneath. Whereas the gum from the envelope will fill up those microscopic spaces in the paint. And then you'll end up with a perfect adhesion. I'm just putting the correct transfer there. I'm just going to see if it's moving. It's not moving quite yet. You must be patient. These transfers are very expensive and they're also very delicate. So I'm going to wait until it's easily sliding on the paper. Which it is now. Can you see that? That's sliding. Good. Now what's important now is to set the transfer exactly over the area in which you want it to reside. You then hold it still and remove the paper. Now that's almost in place now. And these particular totems are notoriously difficult to set because these arms can easily bend and break off. It needs to be just a little higher. I'm positioning it while it's still really, really wet. So I'm quite happy with that. Now, with a piece of kitchen tissue. You see? If you try spraying this, it'll crinkle up. So take your time before you do your protective sprays. But I have to tell you, if you've got Fox transfers, you won't need to put any spray on them. They're of such good quality that they don't need covering with varnish. With cab numbers, it gets a little bit more difficult. You wet each one and lay it on the cab side in the order that you want to put them on the cab. Once again, use a piece of an envelope or you could use an old piece of transfer where the transfer has been removed. Don't rush this. Be patient. Give it at least a minute before you even attempt to see if the transfers are loose. I'm just going to put it either side of a little rivet. I am not going to put 8F over a rivet. Let's hope the customer appreciates the attention to detail. Alongside the danger overhead wires, I'm now applying the maker's plates. These are actually laser cut with a self-adhesive backing. Absolutely brilliant. Note how I transfer the little stickers using a screwdriver blade. And when you are happy with the position, just press it firmly home. Absolutely beautiful. These are beautiful little laser etched plates from Peter Wood. Simply peel them off the little backing plate and the aid of a small screwdriver and gently place them where you think they should be and stick them into place. They're self-adhesive. The last one on the tender fits just there. Nice one, it really finishes off the rear end of a tender. So that's all the transfers done. So there we have the finished loco. But some people really don't like those bright, shiny stainless steel rims on the wheels. So what we need to do now is to blacken them. So we've got to paint the wheels of the tender. I'm using matte black from Humbrol. And of course I can paint it and move the wheel around, but it's far easier to spin the axle with your thumb whilst just painting it on. I've run out there but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to take another little bit more 
and then spin it and release it when it's spinning and look at that absolutely beautiful no mark on the treads at all you can turn the wheel just by running your finger against the tread of the one underneath if you like first of all get the paint on there and then when you've got the paint on the rim with a not so loaded brush just spin the whole thing and there you are nice one that's the tender done let's move on to the others but um, of course after doing those we've got to do the loco wheels now we've got to do the loco wheels but this one's quite easy we just turn on the transmitter turn on the loco set the wheels going take a reasonably generous dob of paint and apply it to the rim and lo and behold how about that if you think I was a fluke, I'll do it again. There it is, the train doing its own thing. Some of these axle centers are a bit bright as well, so I'm just dobbing those. And then of course I have to twiddle these by hand. There we go. There really is no need to have any paint on the tires at all. So that's the first coat. Now I think we need to apply a second coat. Beautiful. That's all the second coat's done. Let's turn it off. And they'll be nice and matte when they dry. I think that looks a lot better now with black rims. I can't do anything about the flanges though, they've got to be bright. The blackheads are highly detailed, but they really need picking out with colour. So here's the backhead. I've got it illuminated. Just putting a little cardboard in to stop any splashing paint going on the floor and this is dry brushing this is where you take a brush you put paint in it and then you dry the brush you dry it excessively so the nice thing. what looks really nice is you pick out the handles in red this starts to really bring the back head alive and lastly we can dark brown the floor of the... Well that's the back heads all done. The tender looks a little empty. It's also very deep. So I've made some coal loads to fit into it. These are made from resin and by fitting a support bracket it holds it up. There's also a little brackets on the back. By taking four pieces of blue tack and popping them in the two corners there and on the bottom of the coal scoop there, we take the coal load and it has two little ears there, turn it in, tuck it in and drop it into place. And there it is. That won't come out. Very smart. Well there they all are, resplendent in the North Norfolk sunshine a week before the 2018 AGM show. I'd love to test them. I've got no tracks anymore. What shall I do? What we can do, of course, is to run it down to the harbour branch. So I'll just turn on the transmitter, turn on the loco. All systems working. Let's go down to the harbour branch.
really doesn't get much better than that. Yeah!